Now to create the BRES, uh, first you need to scale everything up. So you're gonna want to make sure that your road width is 30 meters across. I'm using the Measure It Tools add-on and you just scale up everything and you can hit S uh, maybe 30 and that's good enough. You can delete the Bezier curve and now we have our plane that we wanna turn into track. Make sure that it's all above uh, solid mode. Uh, sorry, to your preview, we want to make sure it's um, really, uh, Ah, I see. H, select everything. G to grab it. G, Z, make sure it's above the Z axis. Now we have our everything should be H to select everything. Control J, tab A, select uh, P to separate by material. Then you go file, export, FBX, uh, run it through FBX converter, turn it into a DAE. And then you go to ReStudio and you open up ReStudio. And actually, let me uh, file, export. FBX, and then a, a quick tutorial untitled FBX mesh. You need to scale it up by 100 for ReStudio. Export FBX. Then you have to make sure that your um, FBX converter, add FBX converter, or add. Uh, then we go to our custom track folder. We find our quick tutorial folder and we find our FBX, then we convert it into a DAE. Cool, and now that we have a DAE to work with, we can actually do stuff. So making sure that your DAE is in the same file as your textures, we now, because ReStudio needs it, we now go to our uh, quick tutorial. Um, this is very quick. Uh, and we select our DAE and we create a BRES model and the default settings are fine. And we now have a track. If we want to see both sides of it, we have to go and select this material and go to vertical tabs and surface visibility, see both sides of it. And then we can file save as and call it uh, v1.brs. Cool. Now we, that's BRS.